Hello everybody, Scottish Lad here, and today we're reviewing a set of these, the Target Pro the card piece, 23 gram. So what we'll do, before we do, I've got a few new sets in to review. <coughs> I have a set of the Maestro. Joe Cullen, 23 gram. The date of that, Yokote. Really nice starts with the looks of them. I've not even had them out the box yet, so I don't know. And of course, the legend, Wayne Mardo, Hawaii 501. Looking forward to reviewing these, it might be a really good part. What we'll do now, folks, anyway, is we'll get into it. Hello, everyone. Scottish Lad here. And today, we're going to be reviewing a set of the Target. Corey Cadby Generation 1 darts. These are now discontinued as obviously Corey Cadby is no longer sponsored by Target and he's lost his tour card, etc. etc. That's probably the reason why he's no longer sponsored by Target. <coughs> the only place I can find these darts to buy brand new is on Amazon for £69.40. And obviously, as the brand that's Target, you can tell with the tar Target program that's the original sale that's on them. The weight of these is 23 grams, they're 90% tungsten. And the overall length is 51 millimeters. And the width at the widest point, which is here because it's got a slight taper at the rear, is 7 millimeters. And obviously, by the grip, you can see at the front here, it's just a ring black knurled grip with a black titanium nitride coating. And at the rear, it's just a single ring grip with a gold titanium nitride coating. And obviously with the short target pro grip stems and the target Cody Cadby flights. Really nice flights actually. And as you can probably tell, I've just fitted them with a 32mm ringed point. Not too bad points. Obviously there's speculation that Corey is meant to be coming back to Q School in January. I don't know whether it will happen or not. I hope it does, he was a cracking wee player. Or as everybody likes to call him, Corey Cadbury. Oh, funny times. The grip level for these on a scale of 1 to 5 is probably a... Probably a 3.5 on a scale of 1 to 5. Target logo and blue in there. Few wee gripping marks at the nose, etc. Where I've used them. For a few practice sessions before the review. Anyway, what we'll do now, folks, is we'll take them to the board, we'll give them a throw, and we'll see how we go. Right, old guys, I'm going to start with just a few for the rear grip here. Then we'll move up the grips gradually, as we usually do. Twenty-seven. <coughs> Fifty-eight. 
41. Fifty six. One hundred. Forty-five. Right, final three with the rear grip, folks. And then we'll move on to the middle grip. We'll see how we go. One hundred. We'll move on to the middle grip now, we'll see how it goes. Man, it doesn't really feel as good in the middle for me, even though it's a mix of both grips. Oops, I was a little too much. Twenty one, forty one, fifty six. <coughs> forty one. Right, I'll do a final three with the middle grip and then I'll move on to the front. And here comes the front grip, <laughs> dreaded front grip in my case, I'm not a fan of front darts for the front. Do a few from here and we'll see how it goes. Forty one. One is forty four. Sixty. Fifty two. I'm going to do a final three with the front grip here obviously then I'm going to go back and do a few from, uh, another few from the rear it felt most comfortable for me at the rear Quick six with the rear grip, and then we'll go into a wrap up. Oh my god, two. Let's switch it up. Fifty seven. Six. 
62. There we have it folks, the Corey Cadby Target Darts Review, 23 gram. Really nice darts in my opinion, the only thing is the knurled grip, I found it a tad too slippy. And knurled darts, don't really expect to see knurled darts a lot these days. And the ring grip at the back, I found it really nice, the grip at the back. Obviously I'm a rear gripper so I was thrown from about there anyway. But they probably suit any thrower, rear, middle or front, just because obviously they've the front grip here, the rear grip you've got the best of the both grips, and then at the rear you've probably got the lower end of the grip in comparison. Mind you, saying that, the front's probably, let me move that, the front grip's probably just as bad there. Look. It's a decent grip obviously, but for me I don't really like knurled grip too much. A bit old school. I, prefer, I like this grip though, the single ring grip. Anyway, if you're new around here, why not consider leaving a like? Hitting that subscribe button. I've also got the Twitter page going and the Facebook page going. I do run a lot of fundraising cards on Twitter, as well as Facebook. So if you want a chance to win some awesome prizes, get yourself over there. There's already been a good few winners. And I've also got a Patreon account. If you want to become a Patreon and help me out with stuff to review, like you, just, you can donate to me through Patreon. I'll put a link up in the pinned comment for my Patreon. And get yourself involved in the fundraising card, folks. Some awesome prizes. There's a chap last week that just won a set of the Unicorn Gary Anderson codes and just a couple of days ago somebody picked another prize of the Deluxe Gary Andersons. So I've got some awesome prizes on the go and if you want me to review anything PM me on Facebook, DM me on Twitter, comment in the comment section of the videos and I've got my own flights being made as we speak, hopefully they're here in the next week or so i'll do a quick review on them but anyway thanks for watching everybody i'll see you all in the next one bye